Good morning, friendly is friends. It's a Tuesday, and the children are running like mad. We're playing with a balloon like buffoon. <laughs> Get a little guy. Come on. It's chucks, it's chucks. Madra. Huh? All right. Do you guys want some breakfast? No. Shall we break our fast? No, no. What? What? What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? What's happened? I've gone mad. Hey Amelia, do you know that today is your first parent teacher meeting? Uh huh. Mommy and daddy are going to meet your teachers today and they're going to tell us if you've been naughty or nice. I, I, and I did be nice to everybody. Are you? Yeah. Well, we're going to find out today. If there's anything you want to tell me, now is the time. Them. Your teachers? Yeah, and my new friends that I have. Yeah, let's play cats. Yeah, because I, I'm very naughty. What? I play loads of times. Loads of times. So you're good loads of times, but you're naughty sometimes? I work. I'm not very naughty. I bet you're never naughty. I bet you're a good girl all the time. Yeah, because I, I, I be nice to my friends. I bet you she's a good girl. And also, um, what? Is today computer day? And library. And library? It's amazing how early they learn computers. You know, uh, oh, you need to bring your books back. That's right. We don't need to be late. We are, we are always late for the library, lads. Always late for the library. I don't think you've ever been on time. <laughs> It's amazing how young they do computers and stuff though. To run, so a needle pulling, run far. No tea, a drink with jam and bread. That will bring bread. us back to do a deer, a female deer, ray a drop of golden sun. Oh, did you bring it downstairs, Wardo? Wait, did you bring it to mommy's bed and daddy's bed? Yeah. Oh, well, come on, let's go check down there then. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. You went all the way down there. Yeah, maybe. There you went. Yeah. It's into there. Oh, was it in there? Yeah. Okay, well, let's go check then. Let's see, did you bring... Oh! <gasps> Who's that? My godmother. You found your fairy godmother. Huh? That's another case solved by Detective Daddy oh, and his kids. sidekick, Eduardo. Uh, huh. What? Sure. Do we have another case, Eduardo? Yeah. Is there another case for us to solve? Could we solve it? Tune in next week. Same bat time, same bat channel. Oh! <sighs> Just dropped Amelia off. It was one of those days where she didn't want to go or she didn't want me to go. She did want to go to school, but she didn't want me to leave her. So that was a bit difficult. I don't really like that. Um, it makes me feel really emotional. And like, I feel like I want to cry, but obviously I don't in front of her. And I don't, I try not to, cause you know, <laughs> I try to keep my, keep my stuff together. <laughs> um, but it is hard. It's really hard when they don't want you to go. But anyway, um, 
and I don't know if Amelia or if Eduardo <laughs> what's my husband's name I don't know if Jonathan has said this yet but we're so proud of her because she won a teacher's award which is insane like for this whole entire term I think I think it's the whole term because um, the term is ending pretty much now and so we're going to her assembly on um, tomorrow I think or the day after I can't remember so that is really exciting I'm just so so proud of her and I mean I don't want to brag or anything but she totally takes after me <laughs> Jonathan and I both agree we're both like yeah she takes up he's like yeah she takes after you and I'm like she takes after me because <laughs> I was like such a little goody-goody in school I was prefect every year in secondary school and look at her she's winning teachers awards and all kinds of stuff so it's obviously like her mummy <laughs> but I'm so we're just so proud of her we're so happy we are trying to organize things for the midterm break for the children's we're thinking of, I don't know, this might be crazy, but we're thinking of, like, like Euro Disney is not that far away. Orlando in LA is pretty far away. And it's making calls. We might go to Ireland as well. We're trying to figure, we need to do something. We've got no school for two weeks. What are we going to do? We've never had this problem before. <laughs> so, leave comments. Should we go to Euro Disney? I've never been to Euro Disney. I've been to all the other Disneys, but I've never been to Euro Disney. Uh, Je ne peux Jonathan? Elsa Pell, Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Anna's trying to call her mom. Anna's also new name is Forty Coats. You doing a, a coat haul? <laughs> a coat haul. <laughs> Imagine a, you know, like one of those novelty haul things. You're like, you know, like what I used to wear in school. Like you know the makeup one. Mm. My old coats. My old coat haul. <laughs> what? Last year. <laughs> Oh, oh God! You remember this one? That brings back memories. Ah, jeez. <laughs> A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Now I would you sing with me. Well done. I know the alphabet. You're very good. I know the alphabet. Is that your pet spider, Wardo? I'm from an apple. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Uh oh. Wardo. You heard what happened? I'm a robot here. Oh no, the spider leg came off, guys. Uh oh. Am I going to school back? What? Ah. We're, we're going to your school right now. Myself and Mommy are going to your school now. And we're going to talk to your teachers. And can I come? You can't come. We, you're not allowed. It's a secret. But I might tell you what they said later. Okay? Wardo, no, is the spider your best friend now? I want to come there. Wardo is no longer scared of spiders. We have successfully fixed him. I want to come. What? Yeah. I want to come. Ah! You can't come. You so who's gonna look after Wardo? You have to look after Wardo and his pet spider who's now missing a leg. We need a doctor. We need a spider doctor. He's missing a leg. Yeah, Wardo pulled one of his legs oh, off. All right, we went to the parent-teacher meeting, and it's actually on in Sin World. <laughs> no, we went to parent-teacher meeting. It's amazing. We'll talk about it later. But we're gonna go see uh, what's it called. Girl on the train. Girl on the train. Hopefully the trains aren't on strike. <laughs> Otherwise, it's basically going to be the girl on the platform for hours on end. <laughs> Ooh, popcorn. I got some Maltesers and water. And it was a good girl. That, oh, look. A free Halloween bowl. <gasps> Two. Oh, I should have got a second one. Oh, I could have got a Halloween bowl. What? No, I'm j jokes. Jokes. Ooh. We still have yet to do the 4D, 4DX. So what is that? What? It's like you sit on the chairs. Look, it's got like motion, light, sense, wind, water. It like water spits at you and everything. I know, we have to do it. We need to do it. We need to do it during a horror movie. Look. Yeah, no, Ghosts come out and get you. <laughs> this is my first time doing this in the cinema. Wow. <laughs> I, had to, I had to smuggle them in. It's like, oh no. How will I be able to sneak them in? This place is massive. What do you got? We got here that early. We're That's how you know. We're those type of people. We got here with the lights on. 
I'll come. Imagine if a room the size in your head. That'd be so cool. Anyway, we have no idea what this movie's about. Hope it's good. If it's anything like that. Do you know anything? No. We just, we we're going to go see the Bridget Jones movie, right? And when we went to check it out, there was a poster for this movie and the girl looked, that actress looked pretty good, didn't she sitting on the train? I've seen the trailer. Oh, have you? Oh, I haven't even seen the trailer. I'm excited. I'll let you know how it goes. If it gets too emotional, I can just, that's probably you cry. <laughs> We are out of the movie, friends. All right. Out of ten, what will you give the girl on the bus? On the train. On the train. What will you give? Look how bright we are. We're under. We're at a petrol station under the light. Look, look how bright it is. It's a bit weird. It's a bit weird. Ghosty. It's a, woo. Anyway, what would you say, girl um, on the train? Nine. Nine. I would say it's a nine. It's a really, really. Do you know what it remind me of? Have you ever seen Sleeping with the Enemy? Is that the one, Julia Roberts? It's similar to that. That's a good one. It's just like really intense. It reminds um, me of um, Gone Girl, even though it's kind of like, like Gone Girl. Like yeah, it, like the story. nothing like the girl with the dragon tattoo. Because I was like, is it a, is it part of the girl dragon? I think it's written by the same girl. I'm not sure. I don't think I saw that. I could be wrong. Oh look, I have the. That, that's a bit better. I just fixed the Xbox. Anyway, we're here for petrol. We ran out of petrol, friends. But the film was so good. We ran out of petrol. <laughs> but yeah, definitely recommend that movie. I'm glad we saw that instead of uh, Brigitte's Jones. Now, give me some Chicken Supreme. Chicken Supreme dream, lads. We came to build and there is a giant spider that was like hanging near me. But he's gone now. He's almost gone. He's almost gone? I don't know if you guys can see him. You can't see him. What? Yeah. Well, you're like, okay, there's a spider on you, and he's like climbing up you, and I was like, what? what? There's a spider climbing up me? Thanks. Thank you. Yeah, but all the times I've come here, I've never sat near this thing. Look at all the products. That's so cool. I was saying, wouldn't it be cool if we had a pantry at home? With all this stuff here. Oh, look, it looks, it's like um, and Naomi's book, Eat Good or something, isn't it called? Smart. Smart Eat. And it's like, cook, eat, smile. No? Eat smart. Yeah, but uh, cook, eat, smile. It's like, eat smart. No. no. <laughs> uh, anyway, we're debating whether to get some desert. A desert situation. What do you guys think? Puddings. What are you thinking? No, I'm not going to get it. You're not going to do it? Well, if you're not going to do it, I'm definitely not going to do it. That's how it works. You're the pudding destined chooser. We'll finish this though. Oh, tea? Mm. Thanks. Oh, they're all gone. And that concludes another night of the dates. Oh my god, we went to the movie. I really want to get that. What? Oh, the, the skull? <laughs> yeah. This, I'm telling you, we need to go into the shop one day. Is it open? Look at the homework. <laughs> We need to go into this shop sometime. You know what? There's some really good furniture in here, though. It's really nice. It's a bit. I think it's a bit too much for like our kids' age group. No, no, no. I mean, like, if we ever, if we ever buy a house, probably not gonna happen. <laughs> it's probably never gonna happen, lads. We're just gonna we're gonna talk about it for the next like 10 years or 20 years. Yeah. We just just all talk, just walking around. I'm not gonna make the. Uh, Oh yeah, you know. We got five minutes. No, I'm, not uh, I'm out of tea, guys. I'm out of my fennel. I'm out of deodorant. I was wondering what that was. <laughs> no. I was like eating my that. meal and I was like, there's a foul odor. <laughs> what is this? It's really annoying because I've gotten a cat of yet. Oh, today. I know. Well, yeah, because I, I, I even last night remember I was like, oh, tell me things. Yeah, you have to tell <sighs> me. You have to be like, oh. By the way, like you should tell me. By the, the way, before. I'd like to say that I'll be there waiting for you. Bye, friends. Say bye, friends.